Alright you beautiful people, it's Ira here, your best place for tips, tricks and video clips. And this is a very quick video just to show you guys my macros because a lot of you have been asking. So don't get too excited, there's no actual prop PvP in here. This is just for the people who want to know what macros I use, okay? Now the first one I'm going to start with is my charge macro. This is a focus charge macro and a normal charge. It saves one keybind, you press shift to uh, modify it. Have a quick look at that. Okay, and the next macro I'm going to have is my fear macro. It is another shift macro, focus fear. It is, you know, we'll just have a look at it and you'll see basically how it goes. What it does is, if you're targeting someone, you can fear them like normal. But if you're not targeting them, but they're your focus, you press shift and you can fear them anyway. That's good for crowd control and healers. The next one we've got is another focus macro. I've got a lot of these guys. It is a shift focus one, again to save keybind, with my stun concussive blow. Another way to CC healers. I then have the same as charge, but with intercept, another focus macro. The next we've got is, yeah you guessed it right, it's another focus macro. It's a shift modifier heroic throw macro. Same as the others, apart from I just changed the wording around. And here's my most important macro that I have, it is my BG and arena one shot macro. If you haven't seen the video then here is basically what the macro is okay it's slash cast wreck cast badger victory use golem blood potion cast shield block cast battle stance cast Kylo smash and then you shield slam for a bazillion health it does a massive amount of damage and it's really good in battlegrounds and you've got the vengeance stacking up to get some insane crits okay now the next one we've got is another focus macro <laughs> it's my pummel macro it's just a normal shift modifier pummel macro you'll see them anyway in the description or in the actual video okay what we have here is a random macro that doesn't need to be here anymore awkward delete that one okay we have my spar reflection one equip ruthless gladiators right render equip the uh, shield wall cast spar reflect nothing too special nothing too fancy we have my uh, Enrage Regen for Arm Spec. This isn't a protection one, so don't use this for protection. It's Show Tooltip Enrage Regen, Cast Rally and Cry, Cast Enrage Regen. It's only for arms, okay? Okay, my next macro is my um, HP one for Battleground and Arena as protection. It's really nice in uh, Battlegrounds because I've got an Alliance Battle Standard. So what it is is Show Tooltip Last Stand, Slash Cast Commanding Shout, Slash use Alliance Battle Standard, slash cast last stand. What this will do is I will fly down now and show you actually. One second left, guys. It will Bahoom! See that? 225k health. It's pretty damn good. That's just with my own self buff. Um, if you're uh, playing RBG you can also add your vicious or ruthless gladiators tenacity trinket, you know the one that adds your health and you'll end up getting 250k. It's pretty good. Uh, what have we got here? Shield wall, but that's for arms. You know, you all, you don't need them ones. I'm just giving my protection ones out today. Another thing I've got is my start attack macros. What this does is, um, when you auto attack someone, yeah. Well, when you try to attack someone, sometimes you don't always get the auto attack off because you've just focus charged and it resets it. So I put this on all my spells. You'll see I have a color smash, hamstring, devastate, rend. It all has um start attack before the actual attack. To say. The other macro I've got is my intervene one, very important for taking traps off your healer. It's cast D stance, but of course, if I'm uh, playing pro, I don't use the D stance part in it. Flash cast target bracket equals Dipsy intervene. You'll see the picture anyway. Yeah, I don't need to tell you the life story of it. <laughs> okay, another good one is uh, the victory rush one I've got. It's a victory rush, use Hearthstone. Pretty nice for. Um, you know, getting that extra bit of health off. Oh yeah, one more I've got is uh, Execute. Go Battle Stance. It uh, uses my uh, my engineering thing on my gloves. And it casts Execute. And that's all my macros really. I know it's not a lot. I don't play with a lot of macros. And I don't actually play with add-ons. The only one I use is Move Anything. Which allows me to uh, move my frames up and down. And you know, so I can see the cast bars really clearly. That's mainly why I use it. Hmm, what else can I speak about? I could show you my transmog. It looks pretty sick. 
in my opinion anyway, I don't even care, it looks mint. If you look at my, um, oh, you can look at the gear that I've got lately, I've been PVEing, bros. I've got the, uh, the dragon plate legs, which are kind of thick, because of the amount of hitting expertise I can put onto them. Um, I've got Soul Drinker, amazing weapon for protection PvP, almost as good as my tier 2 weapon, and it give, it restores me about 6-7k health, which is really nice. And I have the braces from uh, the first boss, I think it is. I think it's the first one anyway. Yeah, that's my gear, and I've transmogged to Vengeful with the TBC with a TBC shield and weapon. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this very quick video. I'm going to be recording all weekend, probably some protection PvP, and I'm also going to have a little treat on Shadow Priest for you guys. So, if you like Shadow Priest 5v1s and Shadow Priest, you know, 1v8s maybe, then stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Good luck, have fun.